Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with AP Physics 1 free response questions. We're looking at momentum. Again, I encourage you guys to uh, pause the video, attempt to do the problem yourself, and come back after you've attempted the problem. Okay, so I have two identical objects, A and B of mass M, move in a one-dimensional horizontal air track. Object B moves initially to the right with V naught. Object A initially moves to the right with speed 3 V naught, and it collides with object B. Friction is negligible. Express your answer in terms of N V naught. So both are going to the right. This guy's moving faster. He's going to run into that guy. Determine the total momentum of the system. Well, uh, we'll say to the right is positive, just to uh, give ourselves P is equal to M delta V, or M V. So it's the mass of A times 3 V naught plus the mass of B, same mass, times V naught, and they're both, both V naughts are positive because they're going to the right, so that's 3 M V naught plus M V naught, that's 4 M V naught. Okay. Student predicts the collision will be totally inelastic. The objects stick together on collision. That's not what inelastic means, by the way. He's just noting that he's going to assume that they're going to stick together. Inelastic really means energy is not conserved during the collision. Assuming this is true, determine the following for the two objects immediately after the collision, the speed and the direction or motion. Well, um, if they're inelastic, what's going to happen is they're going to get stuck together. And or if it, Sorry, not if they're inelastic, but if they are stuck together, they're going to hit each other and move together, both with the same velocity. So this initial, and it's going to have to have the same momentum, because momentum's conserved if there's no outside forces on the system, which is, the, in this case, that's what's happening. Okay, so the final thing will have 2m times some v I don't know. That's what I'm solving for. m's cancel, so v would just simply equal to uh, divided by 2, 2v two naught. Okay. Um, the direction of motion to the left or to the right. Um, because all the momentum's already to the right, then the momentum's still going to have to be to the right. Another way we see it is this is still positive. Okay. When the experiment is performed, the student surprise observes that the objects separate after the collision and the object B subsequently moved to the right with the speed 2.5 V naught. Determine the following for object A immediately after the collision, the speed and direction of motion. So for object, so object, so again, the 4 MV naught, that's how much momentum we have. We're still doing conservation of momentum. This time, uh, object A moves with some unknown velocity and object B moves with the velocity 2.5 V naught. Okay, I can divide by m, and that will divide that all out there. And so VA is just simply this 4 V naught minus this one here, minus 2.5 V naught. That's equal to 1.5 V naught. That's its speed, and because it's still positive, it's still to the right. Okay. Determine the kinetic energy dissipated in the actual experiment. So in the actual experiment, let's look at the kinetic energy before. The initial kinetic energy was one half um, mass of A times his speed, three V naught squared, plus one half the kinetic energy from a B, which is V naught squared. You see, it's just one half MV squared, and I'm summing both A and B. That's their initial kinetic energy. So this is um, one half uh, I don't, yeah, I just put everything in here. This is 9 V naught squared, and this is V naught squared. So that's 1 half M times 10 V naught squared. That's equal to 5 M V naught squared. So this is the initial energy of the system. And afterwards, the kinetic energy is 1 half M. Object A moves at this velocity, 1.5 V naught squared. Object B is moving at uh, 2.5 v naught squared. Um, 1.5 squared is um, 2.25 v naught squared plus 2.5 squared is uh, 6.25 v naught squared. I'm just sort of distributing the square. So this is 1 half m times this, which is 8.5 v naught squared. And so I divide that by 2, I get 4.25 mv naught squared. So we started with this energy. This, we ended up with this much kinetic energy. So the change in kinetic energy 
is it lost 0.75 mv naught squared energy. Okay, hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you guys in the uh, next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.